up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl G Baby. That's G dot B A B I I. And if you don't want to comment, G Baby, you already know. You can call me the seventh letter in the alphabet. And I'm back with another video, you guys. Today, your girl gonna give y'all a little story time. It's been a minute since I did a story time video, so I'm gonna do a story time video today. Y'all, I'm really getting ready to go, but you know, <laughs> that's why I'm in a bathroom. But. You know, like I said, since I ain't got y'all a video in a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and do this little story time, and it is what it is. I'm gonna throw y'all a little tea. This story gonna be about the time my kid's dad stole our kids' savings money and cheated on me. Yes, honey, the real tea. But quick disclaimer, y'all, cause me and him ain't on no bad terms. I ain't trying to start no drama, no nothing. I will not be mentioning his name in this video. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you just won't know. <laughs> but uh, I ain't gonna be mentioning his name, and I ain't gonna be, you know, mentioning nobody else's name in this video. Keep the peace down as much as possible. So y'all know I ain't been with my kids' dad since my youngest daughter was about three. She's seven now, so this was a while ago. But at this time, I was editing people videos to make money, and I was also helping people like gain followers that was real genuine followers that was within your niche on Instagram and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, my kid's dad, he had like a whole nine to five job. I ain't had like no nine to five job. And I mean, his job wasn't just perfect or anything, but he was working at a fast food restaurant and he was making money. And I was like editing videos and making money for people at the time. And we was going through a time where we didn't have a house yet. So we wanted to move, not, not me and my kids, that I wanted to move into a home with me and my kids. And because I wanted to move into that home, I wanted like to be able to buy them the stuff they need when we move, like beds, uh, mattress, all that kind of stuff for their room so they can have everything they need, decoration wise, all that kind of stuff. And I had a goal and a plan. So I was like, you know, I wanna start saving up money. I wanna start having money put to the side for the kids so that way when I move into the house, they can already have everything they need or whatever. And I ain't really gotta just go out and try to figure everything out at the last minute cause I had the funds to go out and get it. That was the goal. And I remember talking to him about it on the phone. And he was just like, yo, when you gonna do it? So what you wanna do? I wanna participate with helping you do it too. Y'all, I'm gonna keep it a book. My kids, dad ain't never helped me do nothing financially for my kids. And again, ain't no bad blood between me and him. So I hope nobody don't take it the wrong way. But financially wise, it's always been me. And I had help from my mom. And every now and then I had help from his mom, like no shade to his mama. His mama will definitely help me if needed. I just never contacted her like, yeah, I need some help with them because I physically just remember a conversation me, her and him had when I was pregnant and how she was just like, I don't raise my kids. I ain't looking to raise no other kids. And I respect what she told me. So out of that, I don't really go to her like, yo, I need some for them. And I feel like it's not her responsibility. Like she said, she raised her kids. She did what she had to do. These are my kids. I raise my kids. I do what I have to do for mine. And it's me and his responsibility to do what we have to do for the kids. But for some reason, he just ain't never been that type of person who's been financially there for them. It's always been me and it always fell on me to do that kind of stuff for them. And I, again, I don't have no problem with that. I'm a mama 10 times down, so I'm gonna do what I gotta do for mine. And I honestly appreciate my mama because she be stepping up and taking up on his slack. The stuff that he don't do, she come through for me every single time. So, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to buy the stuff I needed for the kids. So, I came up with this plan. Like, I'm going to save up money for the kids. I'm going to save up them savings and everything like that. Y'all, I did not want to go get no bank account and none of that. Because, like I said, I was editing videos for people or helping them gain followers through Instagram to make money at the time. Yes, my kids were still social media personalities at that time but y'all this was when they wasn't making like the type of income they make off of social media right now they was bank they was mainly getting like free stuff like they would send them free products and stuff and that was it or if they was getting money it was little money compared to the type those who get it, get it. <laughs> Y'all get what I'm saying. Like, at the time, they wasn't in the type of 
range to make the type of money that they would make now on social media. Anyway, we came up with an agreement like we would save whatever we can to help the kids have money for when we move. Now, I was the person who was saving all this money, y'all. I do not know what the issue was, but he kept telling me like, I don't got no money. I can't save nothing for them. I'm sorry I ain't got none this time. And I'm going to understand it. Well, I like to think of myself as an understanding person. So I don't really just nag at nobody like, yo, you going to help me do such and such and such. That ain't me. I ain't even that type of baby mama. I don't go to him unless... I don't go to him, period. I'm going to be 100. I don't go to him to ask him for nothing for them kids. I do what I got to do for my kids, like I said, myself. But, um... Even then, when we was together, I still wasn't that type of person. Yeah, I used to say, like, yo, I need some help with him. But it wasn't never, like, he wasn't never. It's hard to explain without trying to shade somebody. I don't want to shade him because, again, that is my kid's dad. And it is what it is. I was like, um, okay, you ain't got no money to save. I'm going to do what I can. Y'all, when I say I was going to do what I can, I was saving up. I kid y'all not a dollar here and there, five dollars here and there, ten dollars here and there. I didn't save more than twenty dollars here and there at least one time a week. Our goal was to put something in this saving at least one time a week. It had to be at least five dollars one time a week. Y'all, I was doing it and I was saving the money on my own. Now I came up with the conclusion that it wasn't good for me to keep the money at my house to save it because I had this theory in my head that if I kept this money, I was going to spend it. Like, I was literally going to spend the money. So, what he decided was he would keep the money and he would hold on to it and he would make sure like it didn't get spent or nothing. He was like, I'm good with doing that. I can guarantee the money will be safe for me. And I was like, at the time, I was real stupid, y'all, because I really believed him. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to just give you whatever I save in a week. You come over, you meet me, I give you the money, you save it, we good. Right? So, y'all, it had been about two months, two months, and I had saved up from literally just a dollar here and there, five dollars here and there. I saved up about five hundred dollars. It, I would say almost six hundred dollars. It was almost $600. It was like $570, $580, something like that. I ain't 100% sure about how much it was, but somewhere in that price range. It was like $560, $580. All by myself. This is my own money. I had wrote down every single time I saved something. Like, okay, I saved a dollar on this day. I saved $12 on this day. I did $20 on this day. I did $5 on that day. And I kept that chart to know exactly how much money I had saved up. So me and him was talking because he hadn't included nothing. He hadn't invested no money into the savings. Only my money was going into the savings at the time. So we was talking about it. And he was like, how much have you had saved up all together? And I'm just like, bro, you got the money with you. But he was just asking me, which y'all, it still didn't click my head. But anyway, I went in my books and I read and I was like, okay, I got like $570, $580, whatever. So he was like, bet, what I'm going to do is, since I ain't saved nothing, what I'm going to do is double whatever you put in now. So however much money you invest into this account, I'm going to make sure I double that. So if you got 500, I'm going to make it a thousand, basically. I'm going to flip whatever you got and I'm going to make that my half from me and the other half will be from you. So I was like, bet, cool. I was all for it. Why? I don't know. I'm actually stupid, y'all, because if this man ain't invested nothing all this time, what in the heck would make me think he would go and flip whatever I done invested and make it double? But I wasn't thinking that at the time. I was thinking, okay, we're going to double that. It's going to look real nice for the kids to have their money, to have whatever they need. That was a go. Keep in mind, I physically did not have this money to touch. He did. He had all the savings. I trusted him to hold on to all the money. So once a week, he was coming to my house to get actual cash from me to save this in the savings for the kid. A couple of weeks had went by and honestly I wasn't booking nobody to like get their followers up or edit their videos when one bringing in too much money myself. I was bringing in some money but not enough to be like okay I'm gonna save this for this and that for that. Of course I could have gave out a dollar here and there but like I said I was living 
money to money at the time. So it was like, nah, I didn't have it to just give. Which is why I was so understanding that he was saying he didn't have to give. But at the same time, he ain't doing nothing for the kids. I was. So that was very strange. I stopped bringing up the fact about the savings. He stopped bringing up the fact about the savings. I didn't ask him nothing about it. He didn't bring it up to me nothing. So we gonna fast forward y'all because it ended up being like maybe a week or two later. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't know how this happened, but his friend ended up sending me a text message. Y'all, his friend and me, we don't talk at all other than, hey, how you doing? What's up? You know, chill, that kind of stuff. We ain't never, we ain't never been the type of friends that talk to each other. I never been that type of girl who get close to dudes that I'm in a situation with friends those your friends i got my friends i don't want to be close to your friends i don't want you to be close to none of my friends y'all can speak hey how you doing i will speak to your friends hey how you doing we all can be cordial we grown that's it that's all I, that's it anywho the friend decided to send me a message and y'all he usually send me a message when he send me a message he message be like yo what my boy yeah, my boy with you, stuff like that. But he decided to send me a message this day. And he started out with, yo, is he with you? And I was like, no, he's not with me. And then it turned into, well, sis, I feel like you need to be trying to find you a new man because I feel like you deserve better. He was just cheating on you the other day at such, such house. And he had the girls with him, and they were doing what they were doing. And he always talking to other folks and trying to do this and that. And I just feel like you deserve better. That ain't exactly what he said, but that's how the message was. Now, I'm confused because I'm like, your friend telling me about you? That is strange. That was very strange. I'm... I can tell you this. He did not try to approach me or talk to me in, like, I don't know. I don't had friends of people I talked to try to talk to me before. But when he sent me this message, it wasn't like I'm trying to talk to you or I'm trying to get at you. It was more of, I'm just trying to inform you that you deserve better because this dude doing what he doing and you ain't doing nothing type thing. At this point, I'm really mad. But something inside of me was like, don't just approach him telling him, exactly what you mad about like be indirect about what you mad about so oh yeah before before i tell y'all how it went when i called and told him about the situation that that weekend before that he really was at their friend house such and such who he told me who house they was at in the message and i had called his phone while he was over there and when i called his phone he was over there it was like he was outside I, like y'all I knew he was outside without him telling me he was outside I'm one of those people I can hear my surroundings very well when I'm on the phone with you you can't tell me uh, oh I'm in the car I know the sound of you in a car if it don't sound like you in a car do not lie to me because I'm gonna know so if you in a washroom while I'm on the phone with you I'm gonna know you in the washroom if you're in a bathroom and I'm on the phone with you I'm gonna know you in the bathroom I can hear that very clearly when I'm talking to folks. So, like, when I heard he was outside, I'm like, yo, what you doing outside? And I might not be the only person who can pick up on this stuff, but if you actually listen, y'all, you can hear it. You can hear it very clearly in the background. Like, the sound is different. You can hear the difference in where somebody at. You can hear them in the kitchen, the bathroom, lunch room, outside, in cars. Pay attention. Anyway... He was outside. He called. When I called him, he answered the phone. And I'm like, what you doing outside? He was like, dang, how you know I'm outside? I can hear you're outside. Why aren't you around your friends when you answer the phone? Me like, he ain't never had no pressure with answering the phone when he around his friends with me before. But that time when I called on the phone, he was outside. And he was like, oh, it's because it was so much music going on in the inside. It was so much loudness. They were making so much noise. So I stepped outside to answer your call or whatever. And I'm just like, okay, I'll let it slide. Now, you know, I'm just a thinker, y'all. I'm not going to catch you and tell you I'm not a thinker. I am a thinker. I be thinking soon as I hear stuff, know stuff. I'm a thinker. So if you, you talk to me. You got to talk to me and you got to be an honest person because my mind put two and two together real quick. 
two and two together real quick. And if two plus two don't equal four, you got to go. I promise. I don't, I don't even play like that. You got to go. Okay? Anywho, he was all like, yeah, I just stood outside because, you know, they had so many music playing. The boys, they so loud. All this kind of stuff. And I was like, cool, you know. Y'all, when I got that message and he was like, yeah, he was at the at uh old boy house and he had this girl with him and he was talking to that girl and this and that and that and this that is exactly what came to my mind that is the reason why i said someone on the inside was telling me like don't be direct like don't come to him and just tell him exactly off the rip but you know i called he answers and he was over somebody else house at the time he was not at home he answers and I'm, and this, he answers in front of his friends. And I'm just like, you ain't shit. And he like, what are you talking about? What, what is the issue? What's going on? And I'm just like, bro, you know, I know what the f you did. I know what's going on. You ain't shit. Period. And he was just like, oh, this about the money. What are you talking about? What money? Your money? I mean, the kids' money? I spent the money, but you ain't got to trip about me spending the money because I'm going to get the money back. I'm going to replace the money. I just, you know, I spent it. So you spent your kids' savings? Is what you're telling me. You spent my money, which was our kids', our kids savings. Yeah, I just borrowed it, though. No, you stole it. No, see, I didn't steal nothing. I borrowed it. No, in order for you to borrow something, sir, you would have to come to the person who money it is and ask them, can I spend this money and replace it back? That's not what you did. You just took it and spent it. That is stealing. You stole your own kid's savings. Check yourself. Like, who does that? Who steal their own children money? You stealing from your own seed. So now I'm pissed. I'm talking about that with him. I'm like, bro, what? What the hell wrong with you? Why would you steal my money and go spend it on God knows what, y'all? Ain't no telling where he spent the money on. I never, to this day, I don't know what he spent the money on. To this day, I don't know what he spent the money on. He never told me where he spent the money on. He told me he spent the money. He took it. So we was arguing about that for a minute, which took us off of the subject of what we was talking about. Because I'm like, bro, you stole my money. You literally stole my money. And he's like, okay, I'm going to give it back, though. I'm going to replace it, though. You ain't going to even know. You wouldn't even know it was gone. I was going to put it back so you would never know it was gone. That is stealing. I don't know what world you live in where you think that ain't stealing. You stole your own kids' money. And I know a lot of y'all be thinking like $500, $600 ain't a lot of money. To me, if you take $1 from me, it's mine. I don't give a look. Ooh, child, I don't care how much money it is. If you take $5 from me, it's mine. Don't take a penny from me, it's mine. One thing I don't play about my money and my kids. So y'all already know how I was going. You already knew how I was coming when you took my money. So now I'm mad. I'm, I'm now I'm mad about more than one thing. And I'm just like, I'm really checking him. Because, bro, you really stole my money. And to this day, I never got that money back. To this day, I, I never seen none of that money again. None of it. Not a penny. And I still don't know what he's spending on. And I never seen it again. Anyway, we got back on subject, y'all. Eventually. I can't remember what made us get back on subject. But we ended up getting back on subject of what I called for in the first place. So, I was just like, anywho, you know, I ain't, I hadn't told him his friend had told me yet. I was just like, I know you was over there at whoop the whoop them house and you had the girls with you and one of them girls you was talking to and you were doing what you were doing with and you be having girls with you all the time over there doing what you doing and he was just like I don't know what B told you that but you know bitches be lying they be saying this they be saying that they just be hating 
none of that ain't true. And I'm just like, <laughs> first of all, ain't no female told me that. Your friend told me. So he just like, bruh, ain't none of my friends told you that. Cause I got real, ain't now one of my, ain't now one of my dogs gonna come to you and tell you nothing about me. <laughs> and I got proof. It was your friend told me that. So now I send him the messages. This your dog. Ain't no female told me that. This is your friend told me this. So he was just like, oh, um, this man trying to talk to you. This man trying to get at you. You know, it started turning into, oh, this man trying to talk to you. Uh, you been trying to talk to him. I don't, I don't talk to this man. I don't know why this man messaged me and told me this. To this day, I still don't know what made him tell me the truth that you be over there doing what you doing. I didn't have no influence over that. I was at home minding my own business. My own business. Standing on business. What are you talking about? He was just like, yo, what y'all talking about? So I had to send him the whole message thread to show this all your friend ever tell me. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? And then today he decided to send me this long ass paragraph telling me I deserve better than you. Because he never even tried to approach me. He never tried to step to me on no relationship type stuff. Still to this day, that boy ain't never, ever, ever crossed him on that note. As far as how this message got to me, why he sent me this message, child, I don't know. Maybe he just want to tell you one shit. But anyway, he was 38 mad because his friend had sent me the messages or whatever. Eventually, after he read the whole thread, he was just like, demand dirty, demand a dog, demand this. And I was just like, but what's up though? Is this true? So he was all like, at first he was quiet and then I started telling him, okay, let me tell you what I remember happening when he was over there. And I started telling him like how I could remember he was outside. He didn't answer the phone in front of his friends, all that kind of stuff. So then he was like, all right, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell you the truth. It was some girls over here. But I don't, we and that girl ain't together. Like we were flirting or whatever. We were flirting. But that's it. That's all. It didn't go past that. Me and her cool. She know I got a girlfriend. This, this, that. And honestly, no female owe me no loyalty. And I say that every single time. I'm not in a relationship with them. I'm in a relationship with you. But he said he ain't cheat on me. He really don't know why his friend was saying that like, he was cheating. Because he was like, I wasn't cheating. To me, sir, that's still cheating. I mean, what is you flirting with somebody else for? All that kind of stuff. And like I said, a girl don't owe me no loyalty. I don't even know her. Don't know who the girl is still to this day who was over there. None of that kind of stuff. I don't care. You the person owe me loyalty. You the person who in a relationship with me. At the end of the day, you wouldn't want me to do it. Why you out doing it? A couple of days went by. Me and him hadn't really communicated or talked because of the situation. And he decided to hit me up. And he was just like, I talked to my friend. And he said he ain't send you that message. But he think the girl who he be messing around with probably got his phone while he was sleeping and sent you the message. Now, y'all, the girl who he messing around with, I know her. And, like, me and her, we ain't got no bad blood with each other. We have... We didn't have no bad blood with each other, never. But we did, like, have a little altercation with each other. When we was in, like, freaking middle school, me and this girl don't have no bad blood with each other. We speak to each other all the time. We were talking about our kids with each other all the time. Everything. It was nothing. So, she was... I was like, if that girl had something she wanted to say to me, I don't think she would have stole his phone while he was asleep, sent me a text message from his phone, and told me... And how she would have known that it was some more girls over there because she would be mad too because she deal with him. Hmm. I the mouth wasn't mathing. Nope. That this girl would take this man phone while he sleep, text me that you was over there doing some stuff with some girls and the boot them highs. And you know, it just it just don't make sense. None of that what he said makes any sense at all whatsoever but that was his story he said none of that was true 
the girl stole the phone. She sent the message. He never, the friend never sent me that message. It was the girl that he was messing around with who sent me the message. And, um, he didn't cheat on me. And he's going to replace the money that he borrowed because he didn't steal it. That's what he told me. Yo. Y'all, like I said, to this day, your girl ain't never seen a red penny of that money. So, almost $600. I don't know where it went. I don't. Look. I got another story time to tell y'all about when, when this boy paid to get a whole nother girl coffee and everything while he was with me. Same, same man. Y'all know how I was with him for about seven years. So, it, it's just insane to me. I'm like, okay. Okay. But, you know, that's his story. And he gonna stick to it, bro. He gonna stick to that story. The math never mathed to me. I never got my money back. Your boy had to be over there cheating on me with whoever he was cheating on me with. And that's that. Y'all, and yes, I'm stupid. I don't mind if y'all y'all tell me I'm stupid. I know I was very much stupid. I was very much the type of person who just wanted me, my kids, and my kids that to stay together regardless because he was my best friend. I really felt like I kid you not, this man was my best friend. I could even before we had kids, even before we was in a relationship, even before all of that. So I did not want our relationship to be like a fail. Um especially when we had kids with each other. I did not want our kids to grow up without a mom and a dad in the household together. So I did stay with him. Stupid me. Uh, eventually, I got tired of that stuff, y'all. And that's the reason why I moved on. But that ain't what made me move on. I'm going to tell y'all the story of time. One of these days, what made your girl just be like, I can't no more. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to this channel. Give your girl a big thumbs up if y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all leave down in the comments what y'all would have did if y'all saved up money for y'all kids and y'all baby daddy would have stole y'all money. Or if your friend would have missed y'all and said, y'all, he be over there cheating with with this person, that person, that person, this person. What y'all response would have been throughout this whole story time? All right, that's a wrap. I wish y'all a whole lot of peace, love, and blessings. And remember, if it ain't about a bag, then we ain't stressing it. Period. <laughs>